Hi. Do you want to get better at building? Are you tired of people calling your build trash and telling you to delete your build? Are you also tired of being mean for being so bad at building? <laughs> this video is for you! If you're new at building, here's the format to make sure you're not bad at building, so your next build can turn from this. If you try hard, of course. This may be a mini-series to teach you guys what you can do in this game. Of course, I will show them for you, so you save hours of time learning it yourselves. Let's start with the first. Locking techniques is where you put one thing on another thing. A very important tool to make cool shapes, closing gaps, and other things. There are 7 known locking techniques for now. They can be very easy to use, or take some time to understand it. Either way, they will make your builds 50% better than usual. A simple one we can learn is motor locking, the foundation of locking techniques. Because without it, many of the builds you see in the screen wouldn't exist in the first place. Now, to do motor locking, find motors in the gears icon, and before placing one down, go to this icon and put lock on and powered off on the motor. Just set the key binds to zero just in case. With a locked motor, you can fill in gaps and make simple details. It will only lock half a block by the way, so keep that in mind. You can place around the motors and it will still lock. Just make sure the peg and the base aren't connected together or it won't work. Now the most important part about motor locking is the locking tower. To build it, place a motor with peg facing up, another facing down, and build this up two more times. That's your locking tower. This is needed to use the other five locking techniques, except camera locking. Place a cylinder, trail, or a wing panel on the middle gaps of the locking tower to connect them. Whatever you place here, no matter the height, they will always lock on the first column. Just do not place two or more layers of the tower because you will break it. To describe more, this is how you should place blocks on the locking tower. This is how not to place them. Before you move on, you must place TNTs, springs, or disconnectors on the sides to stop it from locking. So you can use the 5 other locking techniques. Now for piston locking. Very easy, you just need a piston, set these on, and max out force. The distance is up to you. Now put the piston on the locking tower to use it. Piston locking is important to fill gaps, correcting angles, and adding small detail in builds. Keep in mind though, you must wait a few seconds after using a piston or lock the tower or it will bug out. Pistons can be very laggy. There is a chance you can't use the build in battle because you may crash if destroyed or destroyed before leaving the runway. A piston can be used as a part to make a super engine. They can be very useful unless you want to spam 50 rocket engines to make it go past 600. Piston locking is one of the most important locking techniques in the game. Almost every pro use piston locking in every detailed builds. There's another important one that you should learn which is angle locking. They are used to angle shapes and make complex shapes so builds look cooler. Just get a motor and turn on both locked and powered. Now put it on the locking tower and rotate it. It's very simple. Just like normal motors, it will still rotate with blocks around it unless you put them together. Here are a few examples you can make with angle locking. 
It's mainly used to make your own canopies or angles, if the wedges doesn't give you enough of it. Jet engines, even the afterburner trails can be made. Angle locking will be very helpful when copying real life vehicles or making your builds cooler. What sucks about angle locking is you can't get it to lock in the same place every time. You could fix it with an anchor block and with a piston, but if the shape is too complex, you may find yourself making a semi contraption to set them correctly. Or remember where you last put it. It won't always be perfect, so keep that in mind. Technically, you'll only need three locking techniques to make good builds, but the rest of them are great to use, depending on the build. So if you're still having problems trying to angle the shape right, Motor 2 Locking will do just that. It uses both Motor and Motor 2 to use it. Normally, Motor 2 lets you set the angle correctly every time. Problem is, it can't lock. By using both motors and creating a spindle for both to be welded, it works as a Motor 2 and can lock as a motor. I will tell you two ways to build it. Let's build this one first. Place a motor facing up. Now move it up once. Then place a motor 2 facing down. Now put a half block on both pegs and copy what I do. Then connect them together. I would recommend you to use 1 by 2 techs on the pegs attached to the half blocks so you don't snag anything while rotating it. This lets you turn left and right sideways. And to weld it on the locking tower, weld it to the motor only. To build the other, place the motor with the peg facing back. Then motor 2 with a peg facing front. Then place the text 1 by 3 on the middle of the motor peg. Then on each side, place trails like this. Then you can just place 3 1 by 1 blocks connected to the motor 2 peg. Now this will let you turn Y axis, good for making angles upwards accurately. To attach it to the locking tower, you have to use trails to connect it under the motor. This wouldn't work properly if using normal blocks, thanks to the text 1x3. Even though it's great for angling accurately, it is very bulky. This wouldn't be good to build it near thin areas of the build or anything less than a 3x3 width and height in the build. If possible, it's good to build near the middle of the build or where it's wide enough to hide it. Overall, great for angling accurately. Another good one is camera locking. Very simple, just place a camera, use a screwdriver icon on the camera and point it anywhere. Or use a block you can interact with Now unlike other locking techniques, this wouldn't work on the locking tower and will show you that it won't work. Camera lock won't need a block to be weld. It is already being welded by the main pilot seat already for some reason, only if the camera is angled. This is good for small builds, without having to use a few blocks to angle a shape. It's best to place your camera lock shapes where your build is going to end up in, and the rest should be placed on the locking tower. Rotating the camera will change where the camera will angle.
can be useful for making space for your build. Magnet Locking This is by far the hardest locking technique in the game, and the least used. Many pros don't even use this technique in the first place. But the greatest advantage of magnet locking is you remove the locking tower once you're done using it and anything that was used to make a complex shape in the first place. Technically, you only need a magnet to lock a shape. And that's already magnet locking. But to lock complex shapes on magnet locking, you're going to need a few things. Place an anchor block, set it to physics on. Now place a piston. Then build a locking tower to whatever height you want. Then place trails and TNT or disconnectors to stop it from locking. This is what you need to make complex shapes on magnet locking. I'll build a basic cone for this example. Once you're about to build your shape, at the end of the motor, place a TNT or disconnector before building the shape. This will let go of the locking tower once you're done using it. Once you're done with that, go to your main build. Keep in mind this is a separate locking tower to your main one. And block out until you're near the magnet locking tower. Then place a magnet. Now set the distance on your magnet locking tower until the shape is close to the other magnet. To set it up, make the shape. Then use the piston to place it near the magnet. Use the magnet, then wait for a few seconds, then detach the shape from the locking tower. You are done using it, but there is a downside. Magnets will weld to anything. Which means, if it's close to any loose solid shapes other than the shapes you want to weld, it will weld to those shapes, primarily the locking tower. You'll need to throw away the loose shapes, or keep them anchored and leave your plot. Now, depending on how complex you set up the build, it might make it non-PVP friendly, since springs and pegs from disconnectors will be welded if they're too close. The only option here is to use TNTs since they disappear when they explode. So why use magnet locking? Well, it's good for making space for your builds. This is very useful if you're making a build with complex shapes with wide interiors. That doesn't let you hide a locking tower in them. Removing dead weight from your builds and removing locking technique debris from your builds. Although it's one of the hardest, it may have the best potential for creating great builds with great functions. If you want more examples, check out this video, since it will give you more examples on magnet locking. Lastly, offset locking. Similar to magnet locking, it will discard the locking tower and replace it with a smaller version. It's mostly used for making circular shapes and compressing weapons, or using it for small builds. There are two versions. You can build the TNT and the Disconnector Edition. For the TNT version, set all these to zero, and set one keybind to zero and the other for one. Make a motor tower, then build a TNT staircase after. Place trails on the air gaps, then build a locking tower behind it. Now fill the rest of the gaps in between with trails. To set it up, activate the offset tower or press 1. If a single peg is sticking out, this is normal. Now this version is used primarily for locking weapons together. For the disconnector version, same thing. Make a motor tower, but now delete half these motors and place an anchor on the bottom. Then for the second gap, set out another keybind for the anchor block and fill the rest of the gaps. On the back of the anchor blocks, place disconnectors with a peg facing back. Now build a locking tower, 
fill the gaps, then make a disconnector tower until you reach the top. To set it up, lock the locking tower, activate the offset tower, then disconnect the locking tower. Still normal if a motor peg is sticking out. If you made it this far, thank you. Now you know how to use the 7 locking techniques. If I miss out on anything in this guide, please comment down below and let me know what I missed so I can make a future video about them. Just test out these locking techniques on your own to see what you can do with them. Making good builds in this game is a skill since you're technically replicating or designing models for a game, so it takes time to make them. Thanks for watching. On the next guide, I will show you how to make cool shapes.